everyone, it's Dante, and today I'm going to give you a bit of an update on what's been going on in our head. So, we have this whole thing about choosing a secondary host that can be really scary if you don't know what's really going on. So, uh, to be the secondary host is to be out almost as much as, if not more, than the host himself, or at least in our case. And there are so many of us, and there are so many like dynamics between everybody, that we can't really just settle it by someone choosing to be the secondary host. Like, say, if I wanted to be it, I couldn't just stay up and be like, Hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this and be the secondary host, because I would get so much, so much crap back from everybody else. And so we went with dueling. I know it sounds super renaissance, but it actually works really well. So the secondary host is one of the strongest alters besides the host, and if someone wants to take that position as a secondary host, they have to kind of prove themselves to be as strong as the current secondary host, if not stronger. And so, <laughs> in the inner world, uh, the current secondary host and the challenger will get into these white robes, and then each one will get a katana, and then they kind of fight to the death. But it's not actual death because um, if you're an alter in this system, you can't really die. You kind of just go into like a coma for a while, sort of, and just kind of your body will heal and then you go about your business and then it's, then it's okay. So it sounds really scary, but it's really not that bad in reality. It's kind of like elections if you think about it because sometimes you'll have a few different people who would want to be the challenger to be the secondary host. And then the rest of the system has to decide which of them is the most fitting and which could handle it the best. And then they have the, the duel, which is like an election. And then the winner of that fight gets to be the secondary host, even if it's like continuing on if you already were or just assuming the position for the first time. It's pretty cool. Not a lot of other systems work like this. As far as I know, I think we're the only one who duels to be the secondary host. We were talking to Mickey, the host of the Acrylic Chaser system, and she was going through the process of choosing a secondary host roughly around the same time that we were. I think she did that a little bit before us, but it was really peaceful, and it was kind of just like, the one who was the strongest and most well-fitting just stepped up and became the secondary host without a duel. And we were just sitting there talking to her like, how do you like do that? How do you not have fights over who gets to be the secondary host? And she was like, well, not everyone is a territorial dragon hybrid. And then I was like, you got me there. So anyway, that's a little look into what goes on in our head. And this is how we choose secondary hosts. This is the third time it's happened. I dueled Liberty. I won. I feel kind of bad because I ended up hurting Liberty. but. He's fine now, he's okay. Um, yeah, this is the third time. Um, first it was, uh, Delilah was originally the secondary host and that was from when we were age about nine to, gosh, like 16. And then Farkas dueled her and he was a secondary host until our freshman year in college. And then Liberty dueled him after that and then was the secondary host until I challenged him, which was about a month ago. And here we are today. This is our fourth election. And this process worked surprisingly well for us, so I think we're gonna stick with it. So thank you all for tuning in to hear about what goes on upstairs here. <laughs> um, keep an eye out for our videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.